Hello everyone, Lazar Killers here. And today we're gonna review some canister cell from 2008, of course, still in the medical, uh, in the medical universe. And uh, from the second wave, so the Mystica wave, of course, uh, we're gonna find this time three other Toa and three other uh, Makuta. And so we're gonna find the Toa we do not have found in the first wave, so this means, for example, Tau. Tau. Tau, Tau, yeah. Uh, Tau, and for example, Gali, and also uh, Onua. And then we're gonna find three other Makuta, of course. So here it is. So as you can see, the canister is no more uh, kind of a crossover between the Maui and the original canisters. It's all about a classic con uh, canister. So more like the Unica one, which means that we're gonna have some lead and some lower part, uh, which uh, where where we're gonna put the parts in it. So anyway, uh, which is interesting with this canister is the lead itself. So you can see it's sweat, of course, because of time. But uh, if I take, for example, Onua, it will be some kind of dark grey. Uh, it's interesting because it has the shape of the Ignica, which is the mask of life, and it's really well done. And as you can see also, it has two sides. One side is perfect, really shiny, and the other side is all badly damaged with some scrap and stuff like that. So it will be used on the Makuta because the Makuta canisters have their phone pictures on their side, so it really shows that, for example, they want the Ignica destroyed, even in the storyline, I think. They really want more the Toa destroyed and not really the Unica because it doesn't really uh, pay that much attention to the uh, Toa Unica itself, if I remember correctly. So anyway, you have you have two shapes of this. One is very damaged, the other is perfect. And it's really nicely done. I think that's one of the most beautiful uh, Kenny Starlet we have ever got. It's really a nice one, nicely designed. If of course the um, body frame white ears with the two arms and two uh, legs and little heads. Well, so very really nice. Uh, for the canister itself, so the phone picture is kind of the old canister, I think, because I will, um, I, yes, I think, because uh, if you look at like this, you've got some big border right there, so it kind of reminds me of the grayish border from the first years, but it's just really a little reminder. So anyway, here, of course, it's the same for Canalus, I've got the same shape as here, which is the one uh, on the Cordex, on the Quadrex. I do not have the exact name for this one, I do not remember, but I think it's called the Cordex. Anyway, Bionicle, Toa Tau, White Ears, and of course Tau itself, the Mystical logo, and of course the Swarms. Uh, the background change on each canister, uh, just the Swarms and the shape uh, on the background change. But apart from that, yeah, it's the same colors and stuff like that. So yes, you've got the blue colors of the stones uh, part, and the green color of the Swarms part. Swarms, excuse me. Kind of nice. I especially like this one. On the side, Bionicle with some uh, Kadanui stone, or if you can so like that. Right here, which is kind of the same uh, stuff as the Voyanui map, which were on the 2006 canister, uh, of the Unica, of course, not the Piraka one. And then we got the six uh, pictures, or at least the face pictures of the other canisters. Or at least, yes, not all the canisters, not the other canisters, because inside you, you, you can find also the image of Tau. Then the uh, fact that you can put some Matawan on his back, so like the Wave 1, but because there is no 12 Matawan, you're supposed to put uh, so like this time. Which is kind of awkward, but if they were to release two, uh, two of the same white, uh, colored Matawan, I think it would not have been a good marketing option. So anyway, here's the new projectable of the second wave, the mid, uh, the Ninwa Ghost Blaster, and the fact that we can put Tau in this canister, and the bio code. It's kind of like Tau, but with, uh, not the A in fact. So you still got the T, the H, and the U. Uh, anyway, and I think that's quite all the information right here. Uh, we're going to talk about the institution booklet right now, but it's really uh, kind of, I think, a drawback apart from the uh, the ones on the galley, I think, because uh, you can see, yeah, of course, you have that, how to launch uh, your new uh, blaster. But apart from that, uh, apart yeah, from the fact that yeah, the part list, uh, it shows it is the same pictures as the one on the back, and it's all, in fact, you do not have some group shot, so you have to, uh, I think, uh, it's on the galley's institution booklet, to have the, the uh, nice instruction, uh, the final group shot, but on uh, most of the um, of the instruction booklet of the second wave of Kenista, you just have this picture with just the face of the characters, which are side to uh, yes, side by side. So it's okay, but I would have preferred if all of this uh, instruction booklet have the group pictures personally, the group shot. So anyway. Uh, I'm going to talk about the set itself right now, so 
the color shade of Tau is silver and dark red. So you have to know that the silver is the main color of all Toas in who is the second wave. So they will have got silver path, which are kind of nice because there are tons of uh, weak colors, if I can say so. Uh, so we're gonna. Um, Uh, excuse me, so yeah, we're gonna uh, first, yeah, excuse me, I, just, I was just uh, wondering about stuff, anyway, so yeah, so we got some metro pelvis in dark red, so nothing really new, some noble long connector in dark red, again, nothing really new, but I think that the shape, the shade is darker this time, uh, in comparison, for example, to the older uh, double connectors, then we're gonna have some uh, knee cover from the Tometru, which are not really new, even in silver, I think they were with before in some uh, Titan from 2004, or stuff like that, uh, yeah, maybe in, um, uh, in Nidiki. And then we're gonna have some interesting parts, with the uh, legs, which are the pure Aka legs, but this time we colored in silver, and it's really nice, uh, for me, really nice to have some recolored arms or legs recolored in silver, that's really cool. And you got four of them because, in fact, uh, the legs this time are also the arms. In fact, they are the same parts. We're gonna, you're gonna find these two parts on the arms also. Uh, and then one interesting new part is this kind of wings, uh, clawed wings shapes right here, which are used mainly on the Makuta, but are also used, as you can see here, on the legs. So I think to make some more aerodynamic um, position. And then we're gonna find this part, which I think is also new because uh, on toi. Uh, on to Jalor Maui or Inika, it was used the second type of Inika field, the one with little claws at, uh, the, uh, at this side, this time in this one, so I think this is a new recolor. So, uh, yeah, I can already some nice uh, recolors on this part of the leg, so kind of nice. We're gonna talk about the body now. So, in fact, the body frame are really simple because it's a Piwaka one, uh, a simple one, so it's in fact just reverse way because uh, you can see if you look on the back, it's as in the front of the part and here is the back of the uh, of the part. So this technique of uh, this build technique was already used with um, Kalma, Kalma Yuki, uh, Yuki Maui and uh, Ali uh, uh, Yuki Maui and Ali Maui. Excuse me, yeah, that's that. So this technique was already used three times and it will be used a fourth time with Terry. So it's not really new and this means that you won't have any armor on the uh, front side. In fact. So on the back you can still find the um, Inika uh, shoulder armor to put the Matoran on it, of course. Then we're gonna talk about, yeah, maybe I'm gonna put this uh, reactors off. I'm gonna talk about this later. So yeah, as I said earlier, the arms are the same as the feet. In comparison, it's, it is the same part. Uh, and this time we're gonna talk about the uh, weapon itself. So uh, Terry got some nice, I think, so, some nice um, weapon which is made of uh, five parts, yeah, six parts, six parts. So first we got some old school um, Barocal shield, which is the one from Galocals. Then we got some interesting new parts. From first the uh, Trident part, I call this the Trident part because of course you have three axle. It's a new part and it's really it's really useful in mocks, in my opinion, because when you have used one. Uh, when you have used uh, one once time, you will use tons, uh, tons of them uh, in your several mode because you can really do tons of stuff with these three axle parts. Of course, you got also an axle all right there, which is kind of useful. So yeah, in fact, it's really an interesting part. And then we got this little uh, blade shaped part, if I can say so, uh, really nice also, uh, kind of little. It is of course to do the kind of uh, propeller, if I can say so, of this part. So we got three of them. And it's uh, way nice, in my opinion. So you can use it for example, as uh, as little blades for Matoran or stuff like that for those who mock uh, who mocks, who make some creations out of Bionicle. So yeah, I would give you got really nice parts right there. Uh, I think you were supposed to put this like that. And of course, it can turn, so you can make some propeller. So it turns off like uh, part two from the first wave, which have some also some helicopter stuff to fly around. Even if we're gonna say, uh, see later that uh, Tau also got some other parts to fly. Oh, well, even in the swarm, because of already the fact. Then we're going to talk about the uh, Ninwa Ghost Blasters. In fact, it's made of two parts, so the uh, kind of uh, air part, air pump part, if I can say so, uh, which is linked with three, uh, two, two axes of three. And then we have the Ninwa themselves, which are supposed to be ghosts, some soft plastic parts right there. And in fact, it's really simple. In fact, it's just air power stuff, so you just have to launch this like that, and it works perfectly. And you have uh, one... Excuse me. Kind of dirty. Uh, yes, you have one spare part, of course, uh, which is all on some axle hole. Yeah, I think they are 
uh, yeah, kind of tons of ice all on this part. I think the shape is kind of weird because the cannon is kind of uh, thin in comparison to the lower part, but uh, it will be kind of uh, tweaked, tweaked, yes, on the uh, other tour because there are some add on. Yeah, it was pretty well, in fact. But yeah, the only point, in fact, is that you can fire at will, you can fire tons of uh, uh, multiple uh, Ninois. You just have to fire one at once. At once. But yeah, it's work. It's work just fine. Perfect, it's just perfect. Um, then uh, you can also notice that the arms, and also it was used on the uh, the hands. I mean, and also this part of the feet are black and not dark white. Well, don't know why. Maybe because you know, it will not uh, look bad in dark white. Well, I think. Uh, then we're gonna put yes, the, uh, what I call the reactor parts, which are also new parts from 2008. So of course there are some axle all here and there, and also some axle right there. So we're gonna have four of them in total, so it's clearly simple, we're gonna use all this all on the pure calf rim and put this like that. And what is interesting is that you've got four of them, but the two of the upper parts are kind of, uh, kind of have some add-on because there's this new part which has some nice little wings. Uh, really simple, in fact, it's kind of like the Copaca wings. They are not really that specific part at all. It really can be used uh, everywhere. Of course, you have some axolotl right there. Uh, I especially like when they put some axolotl because, of course, it stands in some... Um, it's, uh, yes, it's uh, it's more easy to, I think, to attach than a uh, pin part. So anyway, it is in dark red. So we've got really tons of parts in time. This is really a nice... Uh, Nice pro of this set. We got tons of parts, and the construction takes, I think, kind of more time than your usual canister. For the head, you got some metal head and the uh, new uh, eye part. Widely used in 2008, but with just in Congo in 2007. And then the mask itself. So it's like the steel size of Phantom Car, so you do not have to compare this to the old O because it has absolutely nothing in, a, in a, yes, it, yeah, it doesn't look at all at all, so yeah. Uh, so I will not try to compare this because it just use uh, use this, but I think it's quite nice because of the little wings right there, so it's kind of uh, aerodynamical. Also, it's kind of strange that it has this kind of big mouth, not really a mouth, kind of like a, a ninja, you know, when they, they put some um, some I don't have the word, but some stuff on their mouth like that, and they have some mask. Kind of remind me that, don't know why. Also, you have really some polished uh, polished surface right there. You can clearly see the parts uh, right there. The, Yes, yes, it's part, the triangular part, kind of remind me some uh, old video game. You can clearly see the part, so it's kind of okay, so yeah, I think it's quite, uh, it's, uh, all the, um, uh, 2008 mask have this kind of stuff. At first, it's really blocky on the, f on the front part, and on the rear part, it's all, uh, smooth, as you can clearly see, and some circle, not really a circle, but you can see to do some stuff like that, it's not blocky, so yeah, it's kind of strange. So we're gonna add the mask, and we're almost done. In fact, we are done because I just have to put this. And as I said earlier, we do not have to put any armor on there. And here we go. We have finished the Mystica. So I'm going to do the turn around. We're going to talk about the articulation right now. And here we go. So the articulation uh, are pretty good. In fact, the reactor right there does not. Uh, uh, are not really a problem because as you can see you can move them with your figure and just uh, continue to move your arm. So the shoulder part is perfect. The elbow part block I did with because of this part right here. And also maybe uh, no, just because of this part right here. So of course you can trick them and, and put it right there. For the head it can look down on the side, uh, yes on up and also on the side. And this part can rotate, so as you can see, it's useful if you want to move your arm like that, or to move your head on the side, just move, uh, move this like that. So yeah, quite nice. And of course, I think that, uh, of course, the hands are not really a problem. Even maybe this one, because oh, he, he, um, it takes uh, the, the, way, the shield, it's kind of hard of metal still. And of course, the legs are quite perfect. So you can really do some nice pose, of course. Because at times you really get used to the 90 degrees stuff, so in fact you, you can really try to do some pose even if it's uh, 90 degrees. Or it's not that hard. It's not like it wasn't, uh, there wasn't three art questions, three budget art questions, so I'll just put this like that. Or maybe, yeah, I like when. 
And I think that's quite all. So yeah, I'm not gonna put select on his back because personally I don't really want. Uh, if you want to see some uh, link between Toa and Matoan, uh, just check my reviews uh, on the 2008 Matoan or on the uh, Kenny Star from the first wave because I showed in the two reviews how to put the Matoan on each uh, Toa and stuff like that. So yeah. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna do to some up. So what's to not like on this set? Uh, first, it, the fact that it's blocked at 90 degrees, but that's just me. Uh, also, the fact that the frame is pretty simple, in fact, because without all the add-ons on it, it will really be simple, in fact. And there is absolutely no armor on this part, so it's really like the um, Ali Maui or Uki Maui. And the worst in that is that it would be used the fifth time in Gali Mystic also, so yeah. Kind of, uh, kind of uh, run out of imagination, I do not really know. Um, also, of course, some people might complain about the fact that it's not a real tire because it does not got a O or it doesn't have uh, any, um, it does not have a fire swirl or stuff like that. But seriously, it's about two. Personally, I, I choose to to look at the toy like that. I, it's tire, yeah, it's tire. The character, even if you don't want it, it's tire. Even if you have a different design, so yeah, it's like that. And the design is pretty nice. So yeah. Um, so yeah, you might not like the f this fact, also yeah, or you might not like the color shame, personally I have no problem with that, but some people who don't like silver will be really, I think, um, yeah, they, if they can't stand silver on just the weapon parts, I think they just can't stand the story because it's all about silver parts. Personally, I like this because it's, I think it's that some, this elite or commando, uh, kind of look guy, uh, kind of looking uh, in my opinion. Yeah, I do not know, but yeah, because it's silver, it's like they are more shiny, more important, stronger than before and stuff like that. So yeah, personally, I really like it. Uh, and then on the uh, good points of this side, uh, first of all is the part packs. It's absolutely amazing, seriously, because you've got tons of parts in this set. Uh, new parts, recolored parts. Seriously, you got on tons of new parts from 2008 from the first second wave. So, for example, this little close right there, or the four reactors, the nice little wings in red. Also, you got this special weapon which is very really nice with the trident parts, the, uh, the ninja, the mask also. And also, you got some nice recolored parts like the feet and also like the legs. So, seriously, uh, this set, even if you do not like it for what it is, uh, it's seriously, uh, I think for its price, it's really worth it because it's really a nice part pack. Seriously, it's got tons of parts, tons of thousand eight parts and recolored parts. So yeah, I think uh, only for the parts is uh, it's really worth it. But why? Because even for the design itself, I think it's worth it because you see the construction is really nice on this set because uh, you you think that I, when I build it, I really um, think that. I take much more time in building this guy than, for example, some old guy from the first wave because really you still add parts and stuff like that. For example, you do the legs, but you're gonna add this little parts right there. Then you do the body, which is really simple, but you, then you gotta add four of this part. Uh, then you do the weapon, but it's just not a simple sword or stuff like, or stuff like that. That this time you have to put the three down, put this part in there, and then put the three parts right, like this. So seriously, the construction is really nice because it. Uh, it uh, may, um, yeah, it's it's uh, kind of uh, make may you think, yeah, make you think that it take you more time to build these guys than some other other watch I do not think this is true or just a thing for my brain, but still, it's kind of um, it's a nice stuff. And I think the overall design also is pretty nice. Of course, it's really bulky. I think it's got parts everywhere. It got parts everywhere on there and there. But I especially like this, seriously. So the overall design, the part pack, the articulation also, because apart from that, it's pretty well articulated. So part pack, uh, articulation, uh, color shame for me, but not for everyone. And also, of course, the overall design, they're all uh, well done. And I think seriously that too, if you look like for some um, kind of normal toys, the overall show, it's really a canister which uh, rewards it. Seriously, it's one of the best canisters from 2008, in my opinion. And I think that's all, so yeah. So see, it's one of the best for me, and apart from the fact that you may have uh, wait, waited like uh, seven years to see another random Tau, apart from this fact, I think you can really enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it for its overall design and for its mask and stuff like that, you can still enjoy all the uh, goodness he brings with all the new parts and recolored one. So yeah, I think you can really enjoy this guy. Uh, and I think that's quite all, so I hope you enjoyed this review, I hope you have also made your own opinion on this guy, if you did not own this uh, already. And if I think that's, 
That's quite all. So yeah, see you later for another Banikavir review. Bye bye.